friends this is Deepa Suresh welcome back to Deep's kitchen today in my kitchen as a kid special we are going to see potato lollipop which is a very quick and easy evening snack these potato lollipops are very crispy so yummy and super delightful to make it as an evening snack for your kids when they are back from school I'm sure they are going to enjoy it when you are prepared it at home. So here are the ingredient list. And if you want a detailed ingredient list with a measurement, please visit my blog deepskitchen.blogspot.com. You can find the direct link in the description down below this video. So here is the recipe. To make this potato lollipop you will need two medium sized potatoes. I have already steamed cooked it using a steam basket in pressure cooker. So steam cooking is recommended otherwise you can boil them in water. So when you boil it make sure you will take it out immediately as soon as it is cooked. Because you don't want the potatoes to absorb the moisture that is the water. Uh, because if it has too much water in the potato you are not able to shape them perfect into dumplings to make a lollipop extra moisture in the potato makes your uh, dumplings to get break while you fry them in the oil so kindly note that your potato should not have too much moisture in it it should be completely dry as you see in this video and now I have completely removed the skin and using a potato masher or simply you can use your hand mash them well like this and since this is a kids recipe I'm going to make a fresh masala for this so you will need a motor pestle and a half inch size of ginger and one green chili just crush them like this to make a paste and then add half a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and crush it well to make a nice paste since this is a kids recipe I reduced the amount of uh, store bought masala powder in it so just add this cumin green chili and ginger paste into the potato mixture and then add one medium sized onion which is chopped and few coriander leaves and uh, few curry leaves <coughs> and now we will add uh, some spices into it so I'm adding one teaspoon of uh, homemade coriander powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder and if you are making it for adults you may also add uh, uh, green chili more green chili for extra spiciness and some more garam masala powder as well and I added salt to taste and just mix everything together so you can see the mixture is really thick and very hot it is not very loose so this is how your potato mixture should look like if it is very loose with a lot of moisture it means you are not able to shape them into perfect dumplings so make sure that your potato mixture does not have too much moisture in it and now take another small bowl and uh, add 2 teaspoon of corn flour and 2 tablespoon of water just mix it well to make a lump free batter and keep this one ready and you will also need quarter cup of bread crumbs to coat these dumplings so keep everything ready and I have made a small sized uh, balls using that potato mixture so you can see it is in a perfect shape because it is it does not have too much moisture in it so make sure you are taking care of this otherwise you know if it has too much moisture while you fry them in the oil it will break also it absorbs a lot of oil so kindly take care of it and now take those balls and roll them uh, in the corn flour batter and then again roll it in the bread crumbs like this and another important step while rolling them in the corn flour batter also take care you are not rolling them too much because it will absorb the water from the batter and makes your dumpling a kind of moisture so make sure you are following all the steps to get it perfect 
So I am going to roll everything in the batter and then into the breadcrumbs. So for the recipe I shared you can make around 10 to 12 lollipops but now I am just going to make only 6 lollipops. So now we have all the lollipops roll them in the breadcrumbs. Now this is ready to fry them in the oil. Here I have a pan full of oil which is at low to medium hot. Uh, because you don't want to deep fry this uh, balls because the potatoes are already cooked. We are just going to fry only the outer part that is the breadcrumbs to make it uh, super golden color. So you don't need to fry them for a long time. So. The steam from the oil is more than enough for the ingredients inside to get cooked perfectly. So we are just going to cook only the outer breadcrumbs to get golden brown. So keep your oil at low to medium temperature and fry them uh, till you see them become golden brown in its color. So since this is a breadcrumbs they would get cooked very quickly. So just make sure you are flipping them in between to ensure it is get cooked evenly. So after one or two minutes of frying you can see the balls has become perfectly golden brown. Now I am just going to transfer this into a paper towel to absorb extra oil in it. So our pops are ready and now we will make it into a lollipop. So you will need a wooden skewers or a toothpick to make it into a lollipop. So here I have a wooden skewer which I have break them into two. So you could definitely use a toothpick as well. So just insert it into each ball to make it into a super looking potato lollipops. So inserting the skewers is actually completely optional. You can just eat them as it is. But when you serve it to our kids, they would get more interest to eat the food when they are served in a different way like this. So I'm just going to serve it in a plate by arranging in this way. So you can serve this along with the fresh green chutney or red chutney which is a homemade or you can go for a ketchup or a sauce of your choice. So this recipe is very very wonderful one to make it if you have any kids party like a birthday party or if you have any guest arrival along with the kids definitely the kids would enjoy or you can make it as a evening snack for your kids also. So try this recipe kindly share your feedback do subscribe to Deep's Kitchen and hit on the like button if you really enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in into Deep's Kitchen and I will catch you guys soon with another interesting video recipe. Till then enjoy other videos from Deep's Kitchen and spice up your taste buds every day. Bye bye.